Avatar would be my fifth element. I want composure as my element. This is my fourth finals in the last two years. Made the finals of the. A look at the Lakers as they got off the team bus after arriving at the arena. The always busy and popular East 4th Street here in Cleveland. Our setting today is just at the end of that block. Thanks for joining our Tuesday night broadcast of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. And a look here at the passing numbers over the last several months for Russell Westbrook. He hasn't been nearly as effective a passer these past few months, and, and that's unfortunate because when he's passing it well and the assists are coming, he is a much more complete player. It's something he has to be thinking about. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Thank you, Kevin. Russell Westbrook has passed the great Oscar Robertson for first overall in career triple doubles. Westbrook says, I just do what you need to do in order to win. My job is to do everything. That's what I do night in and night out, and nobody else does it the same. Simple as that. Kevin, nobody calls a game like you. <laughs> David, you are too nice. Thank you so much. And Westbrook, he is incredible. Thank you, David. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. You've got Malik Monk. LeBron James is out there with Johnson. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Reeves in at the three, the small forward. And for the Cavaliers, they've got Mobile. Owen is out there with the Coral. Then it's Lowry Markinen. And it's Wade in at the four. And with the postseason looming, Greg, any change in approach for the playoff contenders? Goal number one is health. Outside of that, you're looking at seating, trying to fine-tune, and, and just getting dialed in for what could be a long road. And the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That's his first foul. Uh, kind of a ticky-tack foul there, but you have to be aware that's how the refs are going to blow the whistle tonight. And here is Mobley. Markinen passes to Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Mobley! Hey, you got to like the vision for Markinen. I mean, a big man who knows how to find the open man. Here's LeBron. Good for the basket. LeBron. Starting off one for one with that shot. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And where's the help defensively? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Poked away. Westbrook with the steal. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. And LeBron throws it down. So the pick by Westbrook on one end, and that sets up the easy transition points. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. 
stolen by LeBron. And LeBron throws LeBron it down. Wins. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. Have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Now here's James. Against Cleveland, he was really on his game. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Remains Cleveland ball. to Markkinen and no good the dry spell continuing for him and Markkinen out of Finland Greg was one of the hot names in free agency this last summer and, and surprisingly didn't get an extension before the season just hard to find seven footers that can shoot like Markkinen you knew at least a few teams would try and lure him away First one falls, and this is year one of LeBron's two-year $85 million extension. And, Greg, that will take him through age 38. And that will amount to $435 million in career earnings, the most all-time. And it wouldn't surprise me if he's got a few more years left in the tank after that. Both free throws good from James. Uh, even with all of the impressive number of seasons under his belt, LeBron James retains this kind of remarkable drive and competitive spirit. Timeout is called first of the game for the Cavaliers. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Uh, in the NBA, you've got to keep pace. It's a fast track out there, and I thought their lack of hustle defensively was the story of the game. You can't allow any opponent to shoot that kind of percentage. If you do, it's just going to be so tough to keep up. quarter of action two minutes in and that one good good to see Garland score the ball without dominating it's LeBron with the drive and James throws it down hard uh, sometimes LeBron just likes to take it all out on the rim that time on display and that's life above the rim courtesy of our AT&T 5G slam cam and a Kuro throws it down. They worked hard to get this lead. Can't start getting up with this man all of a sudden. Yeah, GA, that's right. And that was easy. Gift wrap for him. Yeah, we West see West. this all too often. The team gets a huge lead, and then their guard gets let down. The Cavaliers trail by eight. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. We're at the break in the action. Let's now look at the league's top scores. The real stats, the real scores from the real NBA. LeBron James, number one. And all you have to do is point to his name at the top of that list. Does that tell the story well enough for what? What a season. LeBron. He gets it in there. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Passes to Mobley. 
Three-pointer, Markkinen. Russell Westbrook with the rebound. And here's the Lakers. They're on a 16-4 run right now. Johnson from outside. The Lakers keeping it going. A new 14-second shot clock. The shot's good. You know, LeBron is good at the fundamentals, but just so great at reading where the rebound is coming off and grabs that one for a second-chance opportunity. Stolen by Westbrook. A finish. And finished off by Westbrook. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. Whoops. Got caught in between moves there on his way to the rack. It's a hand on it. Here's LeBron. Persistence pays LeBron off James. as they finally hit a shot. James has got 18 points. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with time consistency. Out, out. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're looking for a little bit of redemption in this one after the loss to them here last time. All right. Well, in that one, you can pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, and they didn't get, like, blown out in that game, but it felt deflating, and it felt like they got crushed. They could not get anything going, no matter who they had out on the court. Fans, you are powerhouse dance team. Left. Let's see how the playoff race is shaping up out west. Look at the Lakers. Right now, they're on the outside looking in at the playoff seeds. You know, for Los Angeles, they've shown me some very good things this season. But that next step, those qualities that could make them true contenders, just haven't been there. Now, you just don't want to sit in the middle for too long. You either want to be competing against the top teams or starting to strategize where you can position yourself for a high lottery pick and maybe turn around your franchise's fortunes. And the Lakers making a change here. Bradley's checked in. Harlan finds Markkinen to halt the run. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Markkinen. Garland's got his second basket of the night. And here's Bradley from three. They grab their own miss. James. James on the follow. He's got a lot to do with the position that they're in a very smart offensive performance tonight from him. It's Garland with the ball for Cleveland. Down by 15. Wade surveying the D. Here's Mobley going inside. And no good that time. L.A. has gone 0 of 2 from deep here. A three from Bradley. Hits the three-point bomb. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second-chance buckets. Cavaliers have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Three-pointer, Markkinen. Monk grabs the board. Man, you get so caught up in the bravado of someone scoring on you and you wanting to even the score. Unfortunately, he couldn't answer back. LeBron, that's a two-pointer and another LeBron basket for James. the Lakers. Pretty easy right now. Clear out. Give him some space. Let him get to work. It's tipped. Now, Garland. Five points in the game. Wade outside. Pass to Mobley. Shot clock at six. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. Garland. He had dropped for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. Lakers leading by 18. And it's LeBron missing. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. The slam dunk by Garland. Man, Garland like a small jet. Room to take off. And he's flying. Bradley drives in. 
That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Okoro with it, now guarded by Monk. The pass to Mobley. Puts it up from 12. Garland, no good. Los Angeles is gone, one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's LeBron, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down LeBron, when he is that open. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they've shot the basketball. Okoro passes to Mobley. Cleveland moving the ball around. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. And those are the kind of signs where Garland is improving his overall awareness to find teammates. So the Lakers call timeout their first. Oh, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. teams making substitutions here. Let's take a look at the numbers for Love. How's the last month of basketball been for him? He's averaging 11 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. And Anthony gets it to go. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Now here's Love. His last outing, he had eight points. Pass to Stevens. Shoots from 12. And he overshot that one, missing. Lakers leading by 20. And out of bounds, the Cavaliers will take it. Cleveland ball. Now here's Rondo. He averages about uh, five points a game. Inside, love the pass to Mobley. That one doesn't drop. And the Lakers going the other way now. Coming into this, having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Yeah, saw the box score of that game the next day, and I thought, wow, that's a huge scoring night. Pretty impressive stuff there. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. And, boy, you, you got to hand it to Kevin Love. Opening up about mental health, helping to raise awareness on a subject that affects so many around the globe. Yeah, I think both Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan, from the player standpoint, did a great job of shedding light in that area. But Adam Silver who, himself, who went to a conference and talked a lot about what players are dealing with and how the stresses of social media and the pressures of playing are wearing on them, the league as a whole, players, management, and the commissioner himself have done a great job of providing this kind of safe environment for players to be courageous enough to step out and say, I need help. Here he goes. The shot's good from Horton Tucker. And the Lakers lead by 19. Yeah, second chance points, a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. To the inside. Well, good. And it's Rondo who picks up the assist. Rondo's got three assists tonight. Now, you can't leave someone open around Rondo. He'll find him. Offensive rebound. 
A beautiful reverse oh, layup. Anthony. Anthony's got his third bucket of the night. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. Love can scan the floor. He's always looking for the late cutter and patient with that decision. Excellent all-around performance so far. Hits the big lead. Well, if I was baking up a lead, I'd add two ingredients. One would be playing smart. The other one, playing selfless. They've done that tonight. Serve it up. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Well, Bradley right now putting the defense, something he does well, on its heel because of his offense. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for Los Angeles. I'll tell you one thing. They've cashed in on a lot of second chance opportunities here in the first half. Another big aspect has to be the fast break and transition play really looking to go up tempo tonight. That free throw good from Bradley. Well, he's an effective two-way player is Avery Bradley and he's worked very hard. You remember his early years with the Celtics just continuing to improve to make sure he has a place in this league. Both good from the line that time. The Cavaliers trail by 19. Here's Rondo. And that one is off. Excellent D there from Anthony. Baseline J on the way. Here's Howard. Banked in off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 21. And I like how hard he's working on the glass. A strong big man who is excellent at coming up with second chance opportunities. Two minutes. Levert with a wide open look. Another three for Cleveland. And I think the defense has more concerns out there on the floor. And they give him a good open look from the perimeter. Here's a reason. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. And the jump shot has been a dimension of this game where they've had a clear advantage. They get a hand on it. Now here's Lavert. He's guarded close. It's blocked. Ariza outside. Driving the lane. That's basket Trevor number two Ariza. with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Yeah, if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play, one team played harder. We know who that was. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Pass first, always part of Rondo's Steven. nature. And the teammates he plays with always speak of it. Here's Bradley. That's in there. Avery Anthony Bradley. with the assist. assist goes Nine first. points for Avery oh, Bradley. Anthony. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. Yeah, feels like Christmas right now, just gift wrapping points. Now here's Love. Seven points in the game, and it's good, two points. Can't guard Rondo lightly. Even from inside, he's capable of finding a way to get to a shooting window and score. Trevor, Ariza, Ariza with the bucket. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Down low, here's Love. Score the basket. His fourth, he's only missed one of his five shots tonight. A solid passer at his position. Levert. Oh, oh, hammering it in. Oh, oh that's an old-fashioned rim rattle. Uh, just a remarkable jam. These fans' jaws are on the ground right now. And so Levert will bring it up for Cleveland. And Taylor Horton Tucker is going to pick up the foul. Taylor Horton Tucker. That's his first foul. foul. Timeout called Their the Lakers. Team foul. Now into the lineup for your Cavaliers, Jenny Osman. Los Angeles calls timeout. Fans, your powerhouse dance team.
There's 14 seconds left in the first. Ball's knocked loose, and it's the Lakers on the break. Throws down the breakaway jam. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. And the gamble paying off. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. Well, every time the shot goes up, guys are doing a nice job of finding bodies and making sure there's room to collect the rebound. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. He made his mark in a big way on the boards in that quarter. Back to the action after this word. Well, Rajon Rondo winning titles in Boston and Los Angeles, and he expressed the difference winning titles then and now in the later stages of his career. Just having my son witness the opportunity of me winning at a later age of my career. I won when I was 21, but coming full circle many, many moons later, you know, my son's nine now at the time, so he was able to witness me win a championship, and that's probably the greatest feeling I've ever had in basketball. I can understand being able to share those special moments with the ones you love. And that's what it's all about. And, and for Rondo, who knows? That maybe Russell someday Westbrook. we'll win even that's more as a coach. Foul. First team foul. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable, just crippling defense. So with LeBron on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. Anthony is out there with Trevor Ariza. Then there's Howard. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Horton Tucker in at the two-guard spot. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Anthony Davis, of course, is a superstar at both ends of the court. LeBron James says his ability to guard anybody on the floor, one through five, take the challenge to guard on the perimeter, and continue to protect the paint. It's hard to score on him. Guys? DA, he is a lead in every way, as are you. Thank you. Westbrook drives in and finished off by Westbrook. I know it's just two, but man, that's a nice two. Westbrook with the insane creativity. And we play just over a minute of basketball here in the second quarter. And your experience, Brent, in the front office, has it changed how you view the game in any way? I, I think, Kevin, it's a great question, and I'll actually take it beyond the game and talk about the NBA as a product. I think there's so much more respect that I have, the levels to which organizations go to and through in order to put on an NBA season, from what they do in promotions and ticket sales to the lengths they go to provide the players the best opportunity to maximize their potential. So from Russell top Westbrook. to bottom, you know, sort of being behind the curtain in that way, uh, it's allowed me to see some things on some levels that I appreciate so much more, and I'm so thankful for that opportunity. And here's Rondo following the basket by Russell Westbrook. Passes it to Mobley. Outside Rondo. Just five on the clock. Lavert kicks to Rondo. Pass to Love. Over Howard. Love, no good for Los Angeles. They've gone a perfect four of four since the second quarter began. Perfect from the field. And that one, good. Ariza's got 12. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. Cavaliers. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And they're allowing too many points in the paint. Coach is going to let them hear about it. Yeah, coach knows that. They know that. In the timeout, they're going to hear about it, make the adjustment.
Cleveland. Markinen, he's checked in for Mobley. Okoro comes in for Karis Levert. And it's Garland in for Rajon Rondo. Now, here's Garland. 29 points for him last game against the Lakers. And then there was his pass. When he wasn't scoring on his own, he was making plays for his teammates. And they just couldn't figure out how to defend him. Yeah, you wonder when LeBron James wants to have one of those big nights when he gets going like this. We could be in for a great show. To the middle. Here's Love. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got three assists now in this one. Here's Reeves, and that one is hammered home. Yeah, this is great. When Westbrook starts to dictate the tempo of the game, this time he's doing it with the pass, setting up a teammate. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. There's the pass to Osman. Garland kicks to Osman. And there's another one for the Cavaliers. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And Brent small forward Jetty Osman out of play. Oh, yeah. Nice to see LeBron have a straight line drive. Somebody fell asleep there. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Garland. Can't hit the step back jump shot. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the second quarter. You've got LeBron to like James. how they've shot the ball. Assisted by and boy, he's Malik really Mon. in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody Kevin. standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. On the wing, James. Trying to get open is Johnson. And LeBron, LeBron gets James. it to go with the assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Okoro with it. Westbrook picks him up. Garland, no good. The Lakers controlling the game. And again, LeBron, LeBron James. James. The assist. James has got 10 points in the quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Stolen by Westbrook. Here's Reeves. A huge slam. The perfect end of the fast break. That's a prime example right there of Westbrook being a dual threat. He can make plays for himself and for an open teammate. LeBron against Garland. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect there spot, Greg. Garland. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication LeBron. on the backside. And you can see when he has the basket in his sights, he's going to attack. And once he's in tight, he is a terrific finisher. Cleveland's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Here's Monk. And that one drops. Monk's got his first bucket in this one. And how about Monk there? You better get in front of him when he's in attack mode. If you allow him to get to that launching pad, it is too little, too late. Back to Osman. Shoots the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Reeves the pass to Westbrook. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And now in the second half of his career, Russell Westbrook wants rings. He knows he's getting older and has no time to waste. It's why he plays with such passion. Wade, he's checked in for Jetty Osman. And Westbrook's high motor is why we love him. He goes out, Greg, and competes every play and every game. Yeah, no doubt, but I tell you what, he's tired of missing out on the NBA Finals. This is a guy that is hungry to get back to that stage. Be interesting to see if he can get it done. Gotta love the effort there. An undersized four who can really make things happen with that leaping ability. Flat out taking the game over, and there's no way he's going to give it up. 
The wide open look here for Garland. Oh, good on the three. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. LeBron, that's a two-pointer again, LeBron Los Angeles. Game. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. To the paint. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. Maybe he's thinking at this point, man, somebody's got to help me. I can't do this all by myself. A baseline J. Second chance shot. And there's the nice layup Stanley by Johnson. Johnson. Coaching staff cheering that kind of effort on from Stanley Johnson, working hard on the boards. Pass to Markinen. Down low. Here's Love over Johnson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first personal. Break, let me tell you a little known Seven. fact about Kevin Love. He played Little League Baseball with Cleveland. Clay Thompson. Kevin Love. <laughs> They've Two been shots. friends since they were eight. Imagine if they were teaming up on the court instead of the diamond. Even at eight years old, that's an inside-out combo that probably could have dominated some high school teams. Shooting two. That free throw good from Locke. You think about post players in the league with who you can run an offense through and because of Kevin Love's incredible passing ability and vision, he might be at the top of the list as somebody you could play through. And Cleveland making a change here. Stevens has checked in. The Lakers also with a sub. Bradley's checked in, so he gets them both. And here is Los Angeles now. Here's Westbrook. And the shot falls short this time. He lacks defense there. He's going to see fewer and fewer chances if he can't bury those kind of jumpers. And here we go. Fast break. James has got it. Goes up. And James throws it down. Love how quickly the King got out there. The first two steps getting that break started. Cleveland's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Passes it to Okoro. Here's Steffens. Cleveland moving the ball around. Now the feed to Garland. That's in there. Love with the assist. Kevin Love with Love's the assist. got three assists tonight. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Cleveland's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. To the inside. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. Third team foul. The Cavaliers shoot their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Ariza's checked in. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And working Kevin themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. And the dunk by Westbrook. Man, shot out of the cannon. Westbrook so quick on the dribble drive. Defenders with no way of getting over there fast enough to stop him. Well, Cleveland shooting extremely well. 62% on the night to this point. And so the ball goes out of bounds. Garland touched it last. On the wing, James. Wade is covering. That one LeBron drops James. for him. LeBron's got 42 in the game. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Stolen by Westbrook. Mobley with the rebound. Garland looking it over. The jumper from the free throw line is good. 
Garland's got seven now in this quarter. Garland showing no lack of confidence on that jump shot. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. And so it's Cleveland with it. Here's Garland. He's got 16, and it's out of bounds. The Cavaliers able to retain possession here. And Cleveland making a change here. Lavert's checked in. Carmelo Anthony, he's checked in for the Lakers. Got a piece of it. Lavert kicks to Garland. Pass to Mobley. Lock at six. Here's Lavert. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Here's Ariza. Garland with the rebound. And so Garland will bring it up for the Cavaliers. To the middle. Here's Mobley. And Mobley throws it down. They have a long career in the league. I think Garland's going to have to be more of an assist maker. Westbrook dishes to Carmelo. Wasted no time on that one. Anthony's got 10 points. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Lakers shooting 71% all in all in this one. They've been brilliant offensively. LeBron, no luck. And one thing I liked in the first quarter was their aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Inside, here's Mobley. Beautiful dish, and the layup goes down. Mobley! 12 points for him. Well, that just scrambled the defense all kinds of ways with that great initial pass. James with it. He's picked up by Mobley. Nice Mobley. shot by James. And he is at his best when it matters most. This game is theirs as long as he can keep this up. To the middle. Here's Wade. He doesn't hit that one. Anthony with the defensive effort. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Puts it up. Again, Los Angeles. Oh, hello, well, that's a good job by Avery Bradley recognizing that he had an open teammate and get it to him in a good position. Westbrook against Garland. To the paint. That's good from Wade on the assist by Garland. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Los Angeles has gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. The three from Bradley. Nice four for seven from the four with that shot. You got to keep an eye on Bradley, especially when he's looking to pull the trigger from deep. Better when he has his feet set. To the inside. Lavert. A shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Baseline try. Here's LeBron. Makes the most of the high LeBron percentage James. shot. James has got 48. Uh, defensively, that's what you're trying to prevent. And LeBron James is too good. Lavert with it. He's picked up by a reason. And again, it's Cleveland. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. And so it's the Lakers with it. Here's Anthony. There's the drive. Here's Bradley. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Bradley's got five points in the quarter. Bradley, the two guard, getting in there and getting dirty, crashing the glass for an extra possession. And so it's Los Angeles with a huge lead at the break. Safe to say there's no catching them today. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much here with Frank Vogel. Coach, the points coming with regularity in that first half. What's been the key? We're playing with a high offensive motor. We're screening through physicality. We're cutting hard. We're moving the basketball. We're getting good shots for ourselves. And it's showing on the floor, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. 
the 2K Sports Halftime Show. LeBron James had it going on in the first quarter. He went on an historic scoring frenzy, tallying a ridiculous number of points, two steals, and one assist. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. They're going right to the rim, finishing every chance they get. The D was helpless trying to stop them and beating them inside. I love the relentlessness and the aggressive style. This is how you impose your will on another team. Shaq, how do you think Cleveland played? Their effort on the board has been horrendous. That's a good way to get blown out. The only way they can turn this thing around is to start winning the rebounding battle, to win the battle of possession. Otherwise, they're my favorite, avocado toast. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. It's been a clinic out there by James. And those extra chances mean so much. And he has shaped the game with the way he's been pulling down those offensive boards. And the team appreciating all of that dirty work going on. His activity has been phenomenal. And after a very lopsided first half, We'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Darius Garland is out there with the coral. Then it's Lowry Markkinen. Then there's Mobley. And it's Wade in at the power forward position. And that's the group for J.B. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Cleveland's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Feeds it to a coral. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Okoro's got his second bucket tonight. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse LeBron in James. their arsenal. Just again, LeBron James, his size, his speed, just impossible to stop. So, hack away. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Second violation. And that is just a deflating error on his part. Yeah, he knows he shouldn't have made it, and that's just really overall a frustrating sequence that hopefully doesn't stick with him. Defense doesn't get much better than the mobile one block we just saw on replay. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest, going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds that time. Only their first turnover of the game, taking terrific care of the basketball. It's stolen by Monk. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And that one is good. Reeves has got six. And how about that? Coming out to start the half, a perfect three of three. Wade outside. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Personal foul, first team foul. And it's rare to find a young big man with such an advanced skill set. Moby can handle the ball like a small forward, has a smooth shot and, and great range. Throw good, Mobley. And as much as Mobley helps you out on the offensive end, Greg, he can get you stops as well. Yeah, I mean, he's got great instincts with quick reflexes. Uh, can slide his feet on the perimeter and has great timing as a shot blocker. I mean, what else do you need? Both shots good from the strike. 
And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Lakers. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. Well, body and control isn't just for your shampoo at home. It's right there in Russell Westbrook. He gets fouled and still converts. This is his second attempt at the line tonight. He struggled mightily at the free throw line in their last game. One shot. On the free throw, no good. Just how fierce a competitor Russell Westbrook is. He just lays it all out there on the line every single night. Yet another bucket. And he's up to 52 points. Yeah, making a GA look all too easy right now. Garland against Westbrook. Here's Wade. The Lakers with the rebound. Johnson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Fires from the wing. Garland with the rebound. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up, and you can't knock it down. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart, and let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. The offensive rebound, and he banks in the lane. Stanley Johnson. Now Stanley Johnson has some power to his game. For Cleveland, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Outside, marking it. Down low. And it's Wade with the jam. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Yeah, how about the body control on that one? Narrowly misses getting the deuce. Los Angeles shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Anjan Rondo's checked in for Garland. The Lakers also with a sub. Dwight Howard. He's checked in for Johnson. Both free throws good from James. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes play. To the middle, here's Wade, and denied, he sends it right off the glass. From the wing, the shot by Monk is no good. Cavaliers have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Rondo looking around. And he converts the layup. Rondo's got his third basket of the night. Well, right now, Rondo just cutting through there with, with not much effort, and the speed took over. And here's Westbrook from the arc. The second chance effort. And again, no good by the Lakers. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. For Los Angeles, they've gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Got to be careful once LeBron breaks the seal of the free throw line. There's a lot of power and a lot of muscle coming at you. Usually it ends up with free throws. So far, he's hit all of his shots at the foul line, going four for four. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. The dynamic, Greg, between players and officials is always interesting, with some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. 
What do you think? Uh, well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case, and, and really the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor, and maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. For Cleveland, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. Here's Osman, and it's denied. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Cavaliers will retain possession. The Lakers making a switch here. Anthony's checked in, and the Lakers call time here. Timeout call for the Lakers. it loose Rondo with the ball Westbrook picks him up clock at four Osman basket is good the assist from Rondo Rondo's got his seventh assist in the game no way he's going to pass that shot up the D is way too far back and relaxed in getting out on the shot's good from Horton Tucker Cavaliers have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime and keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. After making the finals four straight years from 2015 to 2018, there have been some lean years lately for the Cavaliers. Over the last three seasons, they've only won a couple more games than they did in a single season, the title season of 2016. Coach J.B. Bickerstaff says the losing is tough on everybody, but I look forward to the journey ahead. Kevin, back to you. What do they say, D.A.? The journey is the reward. Thanks. It's Westbrook with the drive. Russell and Westbrook. good that time. Westbrook's got four points this quarter. Well, they've decided, and so has Russell, to ride his hot hand here tonight. To the inside. Here's Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Here's Westbrook driving inside. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Personal foul. It's on Rajon Rondo. Again, the body control to shift himself over with Westbrook. Sometimes the only choice you have is to commit the foul. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Cleveland, they've gone 8 of 12 from the field since the beginning of the third. Rondo passes to Love. Back to Rondo. Love's contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. 
defensive foul. How good is Rondo Carmelo in Anthony. terms of the focus at the rim? Doesn't foul. matter how much contact foul. there is. He's just got that ability the line, to finish. Cavaliers. And guys, let's get your take Rondo. on the hustle stats for the Lakers. Yeah, you really can't help but notice all the points they've continued to get off turnovers. They have not wasted any time here tonight. They've pushed it whenever they've had the opportunity and have gotten a lot of fast break points out of it. And that one falls for Rondo. Yeah, when Rondo gets motivated, and we've seen that now for a good stretch, he's as valuable as it gets. And Westbrook, here we go. And the layup's good off the glass. Westbrook's got 25 points in the game. Cleveland's gone two of two from long range in the third quarter so far. Rondo kicks to Markinen. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Rondo's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Here's Westbrook. Rondo with the rebound. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. The 10-footer. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Howard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Anthony. Goes to the reverse layup and cracks it in. Anthony's got 14 points. Bully ball in action as Melo gets himself way deep into the paint where he knows he can score. To the paint. It's tipped. Outside for Ronda. Okoro with it. Now guarded by Monk. Here's Horton Tucker, and the shot and goes Horton in. Tucker. Eight points Six for him. And you got to appreciate Monk. just the presence of mind there. Monk demonstrating solid court awareness by finding the open man. Rondo passes to Markinen. Back to Rondo. Two free throws Anthony. coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Hello, Anthony. That's his second personal foul. This Third is his second foul. trip to the free throw line. And line, up to this point Cavaliers. on the season, he set a pace of right around 73 shots when he gets to the line. And the first one drops. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. A different look now for Cleveland. Stevens is checked in. And Karis Levert subbed in for a Coro. Trevor Ariza's checked in for Los Angeles. Avery Bradley comes in for Russell Westbrook. And both free throws good from Rondo. Here's Horton Tucker. He's got eight. Shoots over Levert. Here's Howard, and Howard with the stuff. Howard. Howard puts these dunks away so easily, especially when he's that deep in the paint. Cleveland's gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots in long range. Harris, okay, two hands for safety. That's, that's what they say, right? Uh, that's right. He was ultra safe with that dunk, no question. And out of bounds. Out of the bounds. Cavaliers will take it. Cleveland ball. Cleveland's gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. Rondo passes to Levert. Here's Osman. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Inside. Stephens, good. Stephens got his second bucket of the game to go. Catching the lead pass at full speed. Terrific anticipation. And the delivery on time, on target. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Osman, the pass to Love. And Lakers foul on foul. the shot. He'll shoot Dwight two Howard. at the free throw That's line. First personal foul. That's on Dwight Howard. Foul. Love is not afraid to mix it up and get a little rough Cavaliers. and tumble down there. He's Kevin looking Love. to shoot. He welcomes that two contact. Shots. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. And that 84% free throw percentage is a testament to all the hard work he's put in on the line. Pass. 
That's good from Love. Both free throws good from Love. Lakers shooting a hot 57% from the field in the third. Here's Ariza. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Rondo scored the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Coaching staff would like some more shots from that range. Here's Ariza. And that one comes up a bit short. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. No, he, he should know better. He knows that's not his game, which is why we don't see him take that shot often. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. And the foul on Carmelo Anthony. And that'll be his third foul so far. Garland is checked in for the Cavaliers. And the Lakers also making a switch. Augustine's checked in. And here are the Cavaliers. They're on a 12 to 4 run. And there's the pass to Stevens. And here's Levert. The shot comes out. Good D by Ariza. Here's Augustine. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Augustine's got his first points of the night. And they've worked the ball around so well tonight for those quality looks for mid range. Harland with it, and it's Howard picking him up. Here's Love. That's good, and it's Cortland with the assist. 23 points for Love. Kevin Love can score from everywhere, and it's hard to figure out a way right now for this defense to slow him down. That might not be the shot they want him taking, even with the D backing off. Here's Steffens, guarded by Augustine. Steffens, good. And, you know, he's not usually the guy to break out the crossover. Worked for him that time, but I'm not sure I would be doing that consistently. And so Garland will bring it up for Cleveland. Pass to Osman. Back to Garland. Here's Osman. For the three. And another three for Cleveland. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. They're pretty infectious right here. Guys in good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. Feeling it. No doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. And that kind of defense ain't going to get it done. Gee, we don't see those kinds of dunks out of him all the time, but we know he's got it in him. Well, any guy can throw it down against air defending him plenty of room so not so amazing what does amaze me though is that no one came over to contest the play love outside another three for cleveland kevin love recognizes the space before he caught the ball so plenty of room to shoot that ball the lakers shooting 66 percent right now this offense getting everything they want out there here's horton tucker the putback it's good on the putback. Ariza. Ariza's got four points this quarter. Great hustle on display, and you know what? It's paying off with those second chance points. 59 seconds left in the third. Down low, here's Osman. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. Darius Garland with the Here's assist. Augustine. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. Offensive rebound. Here's Howard. That one a little long. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Garland, the pass to Levert. And there's the same time to finish it off. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. And for the Lakers, they're shooting well. 52% in the third. They came to play offensively in the second half. I don't think Avery Bradley worried about the defense at all on that play. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Count the basket. Levert's got 17 now. 
Here's Los Angeles now. Hands are the ball out of bounds. Howard touched it last. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Mobley's checked in. Twenty seconds left here in the third quarter. Knocked away. Here's Osman. He's guarded by Johnson. And it's Osman missing. Shoots it. Reeves can't hit. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D out of position. You can see the frustration on his face. And so it's Los Angeles. Rolling along with a 27-point lead as we wrap up a quarter. They've got a big advantage in the turnover stats because of their intense defense. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. Even though the position is called shooting guard, passing part of your responsibilities in today's game. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Taking a look at Los Angeles. They've got hit baseball. Johnson is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Wayne Ellington, and it's Reeves in at the small four. There's no stopping LeBron right there. He's done that thousands of times. Mind the lane. Mind the lane. One shot. And the NBA dress code introduced back in 2005. Now, player attire straying a bit from business casual. Uh, does that bother you, Greg? You know, it doesn't bother me because that's where we are as a society. But, man, I can tell you, when I first came in the league, you could find if you didn't wear dress socks with your suit. So we have come a long way in terms of the evolution of fashion. And you know what? I'm not one for stopping progress. Yeah, just making his way through every part of that defense. For Los Angeles. Drives in, gets contact. Wade, he's checked in for mobile. One. One shot. Free throw, no good for James. Well, the defense has failed to cut off any of these driving lanes, which is why they're resorting to fouling him, and he's hurting them from the charity strike. Foul. Clearly a foul. His second personal foul, first team foul. At the line for Cleveland, Lamar Stevens taking two shots. He misses the free throw. And he's good on the second. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons, and 
You want to keep as many teams as possible engaged down the stretch, but it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Here's Goodwin. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Cleveland. Brandon Goodwin. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. And the Lakers have possession. There's the steal. Here's Steffens. He's covered by Bazemore. Cleveland moving it around. It's good. Brown's got his first two points. Well, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. The drive by James. Count it. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. The Cavaliers shooting wonderfully up to this point, 67%. Goodwin passes to Wade, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Now that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Here's Bazemore with the putback. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Windler. Craps in the tray. Windler's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. That's pretty much not how they want to defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Chalk up two there. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. The Lakers will take possession. Ball. Yeah, the body language right now is not looking good for this basketball team. The game might be out of reach, but they have to avoid mistakes like that. Markinen, he's checked in for Cleveland. LeBron, no luck. And it's Goodwin with the ball for Cleveland. Kicks it out to Markinen. Pass to Windler. Five to shoot. Shoots from the elbow. Bazemore grabs the miss. Probably not the shot that was drawn up for that possession, but you can't pass it up and you can't knock it down. The shot's good from Ellington. Ellington. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. And just about three minutes through the fourth quarter here. Goodwin feeling it out. Pass to Windler. Dishes it to Goodwin. That's tipped. Just terrific D by Bazemore. Really clamping down on his man and giving no room to get that shot off. Malik Monk, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Here's Goodwin. The rebound by Johnson. Johnson's got nine rebounds now tonight. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. They get the rebound. On its way from Monk for two. Tries yet again. James with the bucket. James. James has got 11 points in the quarter. Yes, yeah, second chance points again. A huge problem for this team. To the inside. Wade. He drains the quick shot. A good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Here's Bazemore. And it's Wade with the rebound.
Cavaliers have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Pays more on the wing. The Lakers rebound. Another shot. He's off on that one. Well, Cleveland shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense with some ups and downs. Brown outside. Now, here's Goodwin. He's covered by Bazemore. Brown. Good. Moses Brown. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Shot from the wing. Here's Reeves. Here's Bazemore. Los Angeles with another miss. Well, I'll tell you what. He's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Here's Goodwin. It's deflected, and that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Rondo's checked in. Los Angeles calls timeout. And, Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, you know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult but in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", that, that was a nightmare right. to deal with. My personal all-time favorite, Isaiah Thomas, who was as good as anybody's ever been at that league guard position. Here's Windler. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here's Westbrook. Got it. Good job in the low post. Westbrook's got 10 points here in the second half. More power of Westbrook shown there. Not many guys can finish through contact like that. To the middle. Here's Windler. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Windler. I just think that's trouble. You're gonna you're gonna let that guy shoot layups. You're asking for it. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Rondo. I'll tell you what, they're really fortunate there. Those long bomb passes usually spell disaster, but they get away with one there. Here's Westbrook. Over Rondo. That one off the back iron and out. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And Brown throws it down. <laughs> he just bangs down the one-handed. Mm -hmm. Two very easy points right here. Timeout, timeout. timeout called the Lakers. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? Well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft, and that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. Russell Westbrook. 
Anthony against Markinen. Count that bucket. Melo special right there, playing in the mid-range. That's pretty much been his home his entire career. Outside Rondo. To the paint. Here's Brown. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Brown's got eight points in the quarter. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Augustine, no luck. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for Cleveland. The dish to Markinen over Anthony. And again, it's Cleveland. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The Lakers shooting 61% from the field, showing some marvelous touch out there. Releases from 15. They get it back. Johnson gets the bucket. Johnson. Johnson can bang down low and move a guy back to help create space to convert. Rondo against Augustine. To the inside. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Frozen. Guys just ice cold, unable to contribute offensively. Inside. Rondo, good. John Rondo. Rondo's got 11 points here in just the second half. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Augustine, Markinen pulls it in. Markinen's got his fourth rebound in this one. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Here's Rondo. Takes the three. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He's been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Here's Augustine. Offensive struggles continue, missing again. The Cavaliers trail by 20. Over to the wing. Now here's Goodwin. Monk defending. It's stolen by Monk. Over Goodwin. The shot by Monk is no good. Cleveland's gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Tipped away. Brown dishes to Rondo. He feeds it to Markinen. And Markinen throws it down. And rising with such ease, Markinen likes to get up top to bring it down. Augustine with it, picked up by Brown. The 11-footer, Anthony trying to get open. Good as the jump shot falls. And the Lakers lead by 20. And the Cavaliers call time here. And Greg, you were a hard-nosed defender. Would you be frustrated by what they're calling a foul today? You know, I, I would based on how I played. But if you grew up in this era, this is just the way the game is. And you have to adapt and adjust. And that's what you're seeing with the players. Guys can defend it every bit as good as they ever have. In fact, I would argue they're better defensively today because they're not allowed to grab and hold. So the league is focused on offense. The fans seem to love it. But at the end of the day, you still got to get after it defensively. the New Balance player of the game, Russell Westbrook. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. I don't think anyone in this building saw this coming. I'm sure that of the players who these fans thought would beat them, his name was not at the top of the list. Cleveland moving it around. Garland with the puck. Well, Garland started the game at 6-1, but the way he's playing now, he's got to be feeling seven feet tall. Los Angeles leading by 18. 
Here's James driving to the basket. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. At the line for the Lakers. LeBron James at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. throw good James and both free throws good for LeBron Break player movement is always a constant in the NBA, but with more players on the move every year, the power balance can shift in the blink of an eye. And we've seen it with the Lakers right just a few years ago. The Nets and a few others. Not everyone, though, loves it, but it sure keeps things interesting. Shot on the wing. They get it back. Here's Reeves. Goes up again. LeBron, no luck. The Cavaliers trail by 18. Down low. And there's Garland. That's good on the assist by Markinen. Markinen's got his fourth assist in this one. Here's Westbrook. LeBron outside. Two minutes remaining in the game. Off target from three point range. One fifty-two left in the fourth quarter. Markinen finds Wade, 14 feet away. The rebound by the Lakers. Westbrook with it. Garland picks him up. 20 feet out. And they recover. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. Johnson got a hand on it. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Lakers. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. And so checking out their record tonight, that will mark win number 32 overall. They were really smart in the use of that game plan tonight. Used it in their first two games against this team, which equal to two wins. A fantastic show. And, and what an amazing all-around game it was for LeBron. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really timeout, knocked timeout, down timeout. big shots oh, all game long. Los Angeles calls timeout. They're in front by 12. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. against LeBron and they get it back oh great job there tracking down the long rebound and the clock will continue to run Levert with it and it's Johnson picking him up Wade can't hit Now, here's Monk. He's guarded closely Cavaliers. and out of bounds. The Cavaliers will take it. Lakers and we've got a lineup change here for the Lakers. Oh, 
There's 31 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. There's the three. Garland with the bucket. Garland's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Cleveland. Here's Augustine. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. And it's Goodwin missing. Ellington with it. And so the Lakers take the win. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. Yeah, really an outstanding effort all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, LeBron. You got after it on defense. You look motivated. You know, I heard it all from, you know, is this the last that we've seen of LeBron and the fashion that he plays? And then defensively, um, you know, he's not very good defensively. But you can't single me out. You know, it will never be a possession where a coach or, or a teammate or a player on the opposing team will single me out defensively um, because I'm in tune with that side as well. So, you know, we got a lot of guys that play the defensive side, and it's important for me to be on that side as well and take that challenge just as much as offensive man. Seems like you took some words to heart, man. Thanks. Back to you. All right, David, thank you. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.